Honourable Tracy Martin. Kia ora. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I just rise to take a short contribution on uh, this bill on behalf of New Zealand First. Can I acknowledge the last speaker um, and her contribution with regard to Business New Zealand, I believe, and Kirk Hope and a press release that was put out today? Um, I would suggest I know that the um, I know that the National Party is new to opposition, but there is actually a portal that you can go through where you can have a look at all the submissions that were placed on the record um, the last two times that this bill went to select committee. So I, I encourage the members. I can particularly encourage the new members and. But obviously some of the ministers perhaps need to go back and have a look there. Now they don't have staff to go and find things for. Perhaps they'd like to go and have a look at some of the thousands upon thousands of submissions that were actually put through as they bemoan the fact that this government will take action that this government will refuse us to um, waste taxpayers' money by for a third time going back through to a select committee process on a bill that had 99.6 per cent support from the New Zealand pump, from the submitters that um, had the time and made the effort to actually submit on it. Um, but if the members would like to go and find those submissions, I'm sure they'll be able to find whether Business New Zealand, I don't think it was under the leadership of Mr Hope, put in a submission. Uh, the other thing, too, I would make a commitment on is that it's, it's lovely that um, the opposition has offered to help the government improve legislation by providing um, information for a possible SOP um, at, the, at the Committee of the Whole. Can I ask, uh, it would be very interesting if the opposition would like the next member that stands, if they could explain why, if Ms Dowie's um, contribution is going to be so brilliant and improve this legislation so much, why did they not include it in June 2016 when they put through their parental leave legislation? Was Ms Dowie not able to contribute at that time? Was there some sort of barrier to Ms Dowie actually putting through those opportunities? Because that is the last time those opposition members stood up. Whoa, whoa, that got a nerve, that got a nerve. There we go. And, well, so, and if that upset them, let's start with this. But I was told to be quick, so I'll go just for one more. So we've heard a lot from the opposition members that they have no idea what this costs, that there is no concept of finances, etc., etc. Been through Select Committee twice, had other people, had finances laid out in front of them. Perhaps they weren't looking, perhaps they weren't reading, perhaps they weren't listening. It wouldn't be the first time. But Mr Hudson... Mr. Brett Hubs Hudson, because this is, I went and did my homework. This is everything the National Party ever said on this. The last two times it came through the House. All right? So, Mr. Hudson said, I would encourage them and New Zealanders to go to the Parliament website and read the advice that committee members received from the Ministry with regard to the finances. So, Please, please, can we put some sort of sense into this debate? If one going to be a strong opposition, then you really need to do the research before you stand up, not have to get the government to explain how this works. I commend the bill to the House. New Zealand First will support the bill. Sarah Dowling. Well, that speaker.